All right, guys, welcome back to Homesteading with the Heberts. What we're going to do right now is we're getting our supplies ready to tap our trees. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and sterilize our lines. And inside this bucket, I've got a bleach solution, a 20 to 1 bleach solution. So I actually put a half a cup of bleach and 10 cups of water in here to dilute the bleach. I'm going to go ahead and open another bucket and put that below it. And we're just going to go ahead and take one of the lines. We're going to, we're going to dip it in the bleach just like this. And then we're going to use the siphon action to get it into the other bucket. As you can see, it's just going to run through. And with all the buckets I have, I'm also going to put the lids on and just rinse them all out with the bleach as well. And now we're going to go ahead back into the house and we're going to go ahead and rinse all the tubes out a couple of times of clean fresh water to make sure they're good to go. All right guys. So here we are at the tree. I've tapped this tree. I've tapped this tree a couple of times. So we're gonna have to look for a different spot. I've got a tap hole here. Tap hole here. Now you want to stay at least six inches away from your old tap holes if you can see them. So I'm gonna look at this and I'm gonna um I'm going to go six inches from this one and I'm going to tap right on this side. So before I do that, what I'm going to do is I'm going to find my area. I'm going to go right in this area here and put my bucket down. Put my, I just put my bucket down where I know it's almost on the ground. All right. So as the snow melts, my bucket's going to drop a little bit. So I want to make sure I have enough tube in the bucket that it's not going to fall out. So this one will be fine here. I'm going to go ahead and put my hole here. Alright, I drilled the hole, I went ahead and tapped, pushed it in a little bit, I'm just going to tuck my hose right into the bucket. And that's it. Make sure my bucket is sealed. Alright guys, so that's all there is to tapping a maple tree. 
I'm going to go around and uh, do the rest of them probably tomorrow. Thanks, guys.